Well, hello there. Welcome back to the channel. My name is James and here at 20th and 21st Movies, we are about all things cinema. Well, I am really excited today to share with you my thoughts on three films that I've recently watched. These are three films that are part of a three film, nine and a half hour epic that is The Human Condition. These are films directed by Masaki Kobayashi and they come in at spine number 480 in the Criterion Collection. They are the three film, nine and a half hour Japanese anti-war epic saga from Masaki Kobayashi starring Tatsuya Nakadai and Michio Aratama. Okay, so these three films are based upon the six volume novel from Junpei Gomekawa called The Human Condition as well. And Masaki Kobayashi and his team do a really nice job of adapting that source material to these three films. So these three films are very faithful to that source material. As I put on my community post a few days ago on my channel, I did a marathon of these three films. I watched the first film on Sunday night the second film on Monday night, and then I finished up the third film on Tuesday and Wednesday. And I'll tell you right off the bat, I thoroughly enjoyed these films. These are absolutely amazing films from Masaki Kobayashi. And the purpose of this video, I titled it Review of the Human Condition, but the reality is this is a nine and a half hour epic, and I don't think I'm gonna cover in the span of just a few minutes in this video everything there is to say about these films. So what I'm gonna share in this video is really my impressions of these films. And my impression overall of these films is these are absolutely amazing films. They're an astounding epic journey of these characters in this movie. And forgive my German Shepherd puppy, he's barking in the other room, so he's excited about something, but Anyway, he actually watched these films with me. He was in his little cage kennel, uh, which is near the TV. So I had him watch these three films together with me and I think he enjoyed them as much as I did. So anyway, these films are absolutely amazing. So the human condition takes place during World War II in an area called Manchuria. This is an area of China that was invaded by the Japanese during World War II and is the story of the epic journey of Kaji, played by Japanese actor Tatsuya Nakadai and his love Michiko, played by Michio Aratama. The three films cover Kaji's journey as a labor supervisor, his time in the Japanese Imperial Army during the war, and life as a POW, prisoner of war captive, of the Soviets. I think it's important to note that Kobayashi, in addition to drawing inspiration, of course, from the source material from Junpei Gomakawa's novels, he also drew inspiration from a source you might not think about, from one of Jean Renoir's films, Grand Illusion. He drew inspiration from Jean Renoir's depiction of how people respond to war in that film and he also drew from the wellspring of experience of his own life because Kobayashi was in the war during World War II. He served in the Japanese Imperial Army and he was actually a POW during the war. So he was able to draw on his own personal experience in making these films. And I think that's one of the things that really adds to the enormity of these films is just how realistic these films are. These films give you a very real portrayal of what life was like for people during World War II, what life was like for certain segments of the Japanese population, certain segments of the Chinese population, as well as certain segments of the Soviet population as well. It gives you a really nice, realistic glimpse of what life might have been like for people living during that time going through this very tumultuous period in history. And I think his own personal experiences help to add to that realism of what you see on the screen here. So I was really impressed with Kobayashi's attention to detail and realism that he was able to put on the screen with these three films. And I think the title, The Human Condition, is perfectly titled for these three films from Kobayashi because these three films over the course of nine and a half hours 
gives you the full scope and spectrum of the human experience, human emotions. It talks about the senselessness and the tragedy and the futility of war. It talks about themes such as the depths of human cruelty, just how cruel and wicked people can be to each other, the suffering that we can inflict on each other. It talks about the fact that you know, good and evil can be exhibited by any of us, that you know, any of us put in a certain situation with a certain set of circumstances, any of us are capable of evil and doing wicked things that we wouldn't normally think we'd be capable of. And this film really shows that and portrays that especially through the character of Kaji, played by Tatsuya Nakadai. And it also talks about the struggle against impossible odds, situations of despair, and the desperate lengths that people will go to to get out of their impossible situations. And, and just a simple longing for a simpler life, which is something that you see Kaji go through throughout his journey, throughout all of these films how he's longing to just simply get back to Michiko. He just wants to get back to his wife and live a simple life. That is something that is heavily portrayed and shown in this film. And it's one of the biggest themes of the human condition and part of what gives these films life and, and meaning. And as I said before, these films cover the full spectrum of human emotion and experience. And I think that's why they're aptly titled The Human Condition. It's just an absolutely extraordinary piece of work and it's something that I highly recommend going into it prepared, you know, to experience something raw and real and something that's gonna make you feel something by the time you finish. This is a very powerful set of films from Kobayashi. All right, so let me go ahead and address something that I think a lot of people are probably gonna think about a title like this. Okay, this is coming in at 574 minutes, nine and a half hours, and most people are gonna see that and they're gonna be intimidated by that. That's a pretty daunting runtime. Nine and a half hours, that's a lot of time. And I agree, and that's part of the reason why this title that I picked up during the July Barnes and Noble Criterion Collection sale sat on my shelf for a month because a nine and a half hour runtime, right? Pretty heavy commitment. So here's my advice. Just pop in the first movie. Watch one movie one night, or maybe even half of the first movie the first night, half the second night, break it up however you want, and absorb this amazing title the way that you want to. The way I did it, I watched one movie a night, until I got it done. So I watched one movie Sunday night, the second movie Monday night, and then the third movie I had to split between two nights. But that's how I was able to get through it. Break it up however it makes sense for you. These films are broken up into six parts, so two parts per film. So that's another good way of looking at it. It is absolutely well worth the journey. It's an incredibly deep and rewarding experience watching these three films. I highly, highly recommend it. All right, so what's my favorite aspect of these three films from Masaki Kobayashi? Quite simply, my favorite aspect of these three films is Yoshio Miyajima's cinematography. The cinematography for the human condition for these three films is absolutely amazing. The cinematography, the photography, the framing, the composition of, of all of these scenes is presented so well. It, it, absolutely boggles the mind. I mean, these films are a masterclass in cinematography, photography, composition, framing, and I highly recommend watching these films, if for no other reason than to just soak in the scenery. I mean, the way that Masaki Kobayashi and Yoshio Miyajima frame up every scene and they show the grand scale of this area in this realized version of Manchuria, which was filmed in an area of Japan that I'll put the name on the screen here. The name is eluding me at the moment, but they filmed these films in an area of Northern Japan to mimic Manchuria in China. And the topography and the landscapes and the grand scale and scope that is portrayed in these scenes is absolutely stunning. And in addition to all these beautiful scenes of landscapes and people against these beautiful landscape backdrops, 
You also have some amazing close-ups of characters' faces. And in those close-ups, you get to see the range of emotions that people are experiencing and feeling, particularly Kaji and Michiko, how they're experiencing what is happening to them throughout the course of this story and epic journey. And without even having to say a word, you really understand how they're feeling and what they're going through. And that's based on these wonderful close-ups of these characters, not only Kaji and Michiko, but other characters throughout the film that really show you what they were feeling. And I thought that was one of the most effective parts of this film. But overall, the cinematography and the camera work for the human condition is by far my favorite part of this film. In addition to the incredible story, it's the cinematography more than anything else that wins me over for these films. All right, so what about the video and audio for these three films, The Human Condition? Well, if you look on the back of the Criterion case, it says here, of course, a three Blu-ray special edition features high definition digital restoration with uncompressed monaural soundtracks, parts one through four, and 4.0 surround DTS HD master audio soundtracks for parts five and six. So in a nutshell, these films look great in high definition. It says a high definition digital restoration, which I find to be very interesting because on a lot of the recent Criterion Collection releases, you'll see either a 4K or a 2K digital restoration. I think the reason why we're only getting a high definition digital restoration here instead of a 4K digital restoration, I think is because of the long runtime. We're talking about a nine and a half hour epic. Okay, we're talking about nine and a half hours, not a two hour movie or a two and a half hour or three hour movie. This is a nine and a half hour film. So to try to restore all of that in 4K, to do a full 4K scan and a 4K restoration, I think that's the reason why they did not do that. It's just because of the length of these films. Now, let me know in the comments if you have a different point of view on that, but I think that's probably the reason why a 4K restoration was not done for this title. So we have a nice high definition digital restoration. I think the picture quality looks quite nice. I think it'll be an upgrade over the DVD if you happen to have the DVD of this edition from Criterion. This Blu-ray should be a nice upgrade over that. How much of an upgrade, you know, is gonna be up to the individual to determine that, but I think you should get a nice upgrade on this Blu-ray and it'll be in high definition in 1080p. But I can only imagine that a 4K restoration of these titles would be pretty amazing, but it's probably cost prohibitive for uh, a runtime as long as this. But let me know in the comments below if you know anything about the difference between a 4K digital restoration versus a high definition digital restoration. Let me know that in the comments below. You also get these uncompressed monaural soundtracks for the first two films and a surround DTS HD master audio for the third film. And the audio overall came across very nicely and very cleanly. I could hear everything everybody was saying. Of course, I read the subtitles, so, you know, throughout the films, but I could hear everything everybody, everybody was saying and I could hear all the sounds in the soundscape. So, sounded great to me. So from a video and audio standpoint, high marks for the Criterion Collection for this release of The Human Condition. Okay, so let's talk about the supplements for The Human Condition. The supplements for The Human Condition are carried over from the prior DVD edition. And in short, there aren't too many supplements for this edition. So essentially what you get, you get three discs, three films, and on each of the films, you get an interview on each of the films and you get the trailer for each of the films. So you get an interview and a trailer and those are the supplements on each of these discs. So not much in the way of supplements, but I would say that this is a classic case of quality over quantity, okay? Because the interviews that you get on these discs are all excellent. So the first interview on the first disc is an interview with the director Masaki Kobayashi. He's being interviewed by fellow director Masahiro Shinoda. And that is an excellent interview that you'll want to check out if you have never seen it. I highly recommend it because the two of them, you know, they have a really nice, you know, banter with each other. They play off each other very well and they inject a lot of humor in their conversation as, 
as Kobayashi is relaying his experiences making this film and his overall filmmaking style. So that's on the first disc. Now on the second disc, you have an interview with Masahiro Shinoda, uh, who appeared on the first disc. He appears alone on the second disc and he talks more about Kobayashi's filmmaking approach and, and directing in general. And then on the third disc, you have an interview with Tatsuya Nakadai and he recounts his experience making this film. Of course, this film, The Human Condition, was his very first leading role. So he had played in a number of films prior to The Human Condition, but The Human Condition was Tatsuya Nakadai's first lead role. And he talks about his experiences making the film, working with the director Kobayashi and the cinematographer, but he also talked about his experiences working with these older, more elder and experienced Japanese actors and how they were able to influence him and encourage him as a younger actor. So I thought that was very interesting. So all three of these interviews on these three discs are all excellent and I highly recommend them. So again, while the supplements are slim on this edition from Criterion, those three interviews are all well worth listening to. So I highly recommend those interviews. Now, of course, on the inside here, you get, on the inside of this edition, you get your first two discs for the first two movies, movie one, disc one, and the second movie on disc two. You get a pamphlet in here with some nice Japanese scripting there. And this is the third disc right here for the third movie. On the inside of the disc cover, you get a nice bit of, of uh, photography there of Kaji against one of those beautiful landscapes that he's uh, going through. Of course, you see that Japanese scripting again on the pamphlet, and you get some really nice photography on the inside of this pamphlet. Very nice photography. And a nice essay, The Prisoner from Philip Kemp, where he talks about Kobayashi and the process of making the human condition and the adaptation from Junpei Gomikawa's source novel. Overall, just a very nice package here from the Criterion Collection of the Human Condition. This is an addition from the Criterion Collection that's an easy recommendation. These three films are absolutely an experience that every cinephile should take the time to go through at your own pace, at whatever pace works for you. I highly recommend taking in these films. They are more than worth it and they're a very rewarding and enriching experience. So definitely check these out. And this is a very nice addition from the Criterion Collection. The video and audio presentation is very strong and the supplements, while very few, are all very good interviews. And of course you get the traders as well and a very nice essay from Philip Kemp. So overall a very nice package for this edition from the Criterion Collection. This is a nice Blu-ray upgrade of spine number 480, The Human Condition by Masaki Kobayashi. Highly recommended, check it out. All right, so there you have it. That's my review or impressions of The Human Condition, spine number 480 in the Criterion Collection, directed by Masaki Kobayashi and starring Tatsuya Nakadai and Michio Aratama. These are absolutely amazing films from Masaki Kobayashi, and I definitely recommend checking these out. Let me know in the comments below if you have this edition from the Criterion Collection or if you have the DVD edition from the Criterion Collection. Let me know in the comments below what you think about these films and what you think about Kobayashi's work on, in these films and just what your impressions are of these movies. Let me know that in the comments below. Also, let me know what other editions from the Criterion Collection have you been watching recently that you have been enjoying? Let me know that in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and we'll look forward to seeing you next time at the movies. Have a happy, safe, and blessed Labor Day holiday weekend, everybody. Peace. Wow. Steel, what do you think of that, buddy? That was incredible, wasn't it? Man, we'll have to trade notes on this one. That was, whew, what a marathon. We watched parts one, two, and three together. That was one heck of a marathon for the human condition.
Write down what you think about it and let's compare notes. All right? Woo! What an epic finish. My goodness. Looking forward to sharing thoughts on this one.